Hello everyone and welcome back to Everything Cloud. In the last video, we have seen the basic about ACL and what are the type of permission and what are the security access management and how the AWS evaluate the each and every security policy and ACL based upon object or a bucket. And we have seen the cross account cross permission. So we have gone all through the basic. So let's start in this video knowing about the ACL in a deep dive. So I think you have seen the last video and you have seen the what are the what is the ACL. If you haven't seen, I request you please go to my previous the second or third part of this video series so you can find the ACL about basic about the ACL. So let's start about the ACL. So what is the ACL? ACL is the access control list. It is the types of XML resource policy which grant the permission to the bucket and the object. Each bucket and object have ACL attached and it should it also attach with the sub resource. Okay. By default, everything once you create the bucket everything should be in a private means it is not accessible in a public domain so the, the only have a full permission to control the bucket is the owner so owner always have the full permission okay so let me see the what is the feature so you can grant the permission to AWS account and predefined group. So I will let you know what is the predefined group in upcoming slide and with the ACL you can't permit can't permit the individual user that means in AIM policy we will grant the permission based upon the users but in ACL we can't do that. By default, ACL have a only two basic permission. One is the read, other is the write. And you can't provide the conditional access and denial permission. So once you can give the write or you can give the read access only. So this is how the X XML file look like might be confusing and you have seen the first time but don't worry about that we are not going to use anywhere in our series so this xml is file is divided into two part one is the honor section and next is the grant section honor section means if the account honor so id the id which we will define it will be a conical user id I let you know in the demo section how to find the conical ID. In the grant section, you can provide the conical ID as well as predefined group. Okay, again the same word predefined group. Don't worry, I'll let you know in the upcoming video. So in this part, we will define the permission. So this is the demo XML, X, XML file so it has a full grant you can change this grant based upon the requirement if you want to give the read access you can give the read access you can want to give the write access you can give the write access depend upon your choice and demand by default you can attach up to 100 grant per ACL okay in the next so as we know we can apply the permission on object and the bucket so how this permission work so let's go by through this tables so suppose you have given the read access so this read access is allowed to grant the list the object in bucket as well as he can grant you have grant the permission for the object also in the right 
in write access permission you allow the grantee to create overwrite and delete any object in the bucket but it is not applicable in the buck object read acp write acp and full access these are the another types of permission which are provided in acl so full access means you owner have a full access if he want to give the full access to someone he can give but it is very dangerous because he, the person who get a full access he can delete it he can write it he can give the permission to other person it is very vulnerable and it is very dangerous so before providing the permission you should evaluate why and whom and what have to and depend on the scenario you should provide the permission so let's see what is the predefined group as i told in xml file in place of conical id we can define the predefined predefined group so it is when granting account access to the group you specify one of the uri instead of conical id i i told you like that so how the predefined is defined so this predefined group work on a url type so suppose you have to authenticate user group once you have given this permission means you have given this url in xml files that access permission to this group allow any aws account to access your resource and and all user group means access permission to this group allow any world any one in the world to access your resource and log delivery it grant the permission to write the server access log means service server access log means suppose cloud watch log vpn log or different types of log you can store in s3 bucket using this uri okay so next canon what is the canon acl canon acl is work as the permission based but it we can define canon through by cli okay command line it is acl support a set of predefined grant is known as the acl canon acl so how it will will define through the acl i'll show you in demo but let me see let me see some important canon acl private owner have the full access no one else access right by default public read owner have the full access always in any canon access owner have the full access but depend on the canon acl the permission will be very the user group can get read access public read write the grantee on bucket generally is not come in bucket user get read and write access and log delivery log de delivery group get write and read acp permission on the bucket okay the full you can go in this page have is canal you if you type a google aws canal acl you will get this whole bug page because i have this is there is the resource which i have taken to let you know how the canal acl work so this is the end of this slide let me take you for the demo version for the demo we can one i have my account so let's start from the create bucket so give the name 1 2 3 4 okay this is the bucket name specify the region i am choosing for mumbai because it is very near to my place and it is very fast for me okay let's create the bucket okay bucket is already exist so it should be a unique so let me go 1 2 okay might be this will be the unique yes this bucket is unique and this is came of my first bucket 
so by default i told you as i told you you will get a acl permission and the owner always have a full permission that the first one you can see the owner you have access to list the object write the object read bucket permission write bucket permission owner can provide the access for the cross account permission by using this area he can provide the public access using this area if you click on public access you can tick the permission type which you want to provide and access bucket acl read bucket permission write bucket permission access to this is a how this permission work this is the object base and this is the bucket base so if you will get the bucket base list the object the user other person in publicly they can list the object if you will give the bucket base they can delete it your object also okay if you click object other people can see that okay cancel okay s3 log delivery group so if you click here if you will give the permission and save it and it is connected with other services of aws that service log can be stored and the publicly if you will give the permission for public access the publicly other people can see the log files so it is types of you have a huge amount of logs and you want to space to you want to space to store that log you can use the s3 bucket so this is the just this is the i hope this make you understand how the acl work if not let me write me in the comment section so i can respond you as soon as possible so remaining thing i'll let i told you i'll let you know by one by one video because each and every section have a separate video how the policy work how the corpus so let me end this video and before ending i forget to tell you how to find the canon for the canon id for the canon id you have to go in account my security credential so it will direct to the ami close it so if you will see here you will get a many option if you click account identifier you can see the conical id so this is the your conical id okay and you can take this conical id and connect with the your aws s3 using the xml file okay the last one i'll show you how to work with the canon acl so i have already configured account so let me list the all the bucket which are available in s3 okay okay these are the bucket which are available in my s3 okay so i have created this bucket okay and this did this bucket don't have the public access but we want to store some object in this bucket and provide the public access for that so right now in i am in desktop so let me see what are available in desktop so these are the file which is available in my desktop so let me check any photo okay this is the png file picture is available so let me upload this picture so uploading so we have to use the command aws s3 a canon acl work with the cli keep it mind okay copy what is the name of that file everything everything cloud dot png then where we want to store s3 column double slash one one okay let me see the folder name it is one two three four hyphen one two okay one two three four hyphen one two okay and what are the permission we want to provide so for permission we'll double hyphen acl public read okay so our my file is uploaded so to check whether it's uploaded i can go in my console click s3 
okay one two three this file is uploaded so let me I have given the public read access let me open this file and we can see this is the available for the public access if you don't want to give the public access you can go click permission okay so see in public access read have means I have given the public read access it automatically have a yes you want to remove click here remove read object save it now if you refresh this page access denial okay now access has been denied okay this I think let me end this video and I hope it is very informative for you I will bring a new video and the new chapter about the S3 because S3 have a huge demand and it used with the n number of uh, other services with the AWS and the third party okay so thank you for watching this video share your support with subscribe like it and comment and let me bring my page last page thank you this is the last page and please subscribe don't forget to subscribe it thank you and keep learning